This is two of the protesters demonstrating, gathering in the streets, speaking whatever message you speak. This is my message to you. Protesting to Wall Street about Wall Street, protesting to Washington, D.C. about Washington, D.C. isn't going to accomplish anything. If you want change, you have to do the change yourself. Going before the source of the crisis and expecting those who created the crisis to do something about it, to actually change a system that is benefiting them, isn't going to work. You have to go to the people, the individual, who you are. Go to your gas stations, go to your post offices, go to the grocery stores. You have to go where everyday people go every day. You have to occupy where you are. You have to occupy here. Occupying there only furthers the problem because it keeps the uninformed people uninformed. Informing the people who know what's going on doesn't accomplish anything. It just gives them something to talk about. They know what they've done. They know what they are doing. And they don't care. If they cared, they wouldn't have done it in the first place. Occupy yourself. Occupy your home territory. Start with your neighbors, your roommates, your family, your city. And city upon city, county upon county, state upon state, the infrastructure of change has to be there for change to be sustainable. Stop supporting political candidates. Make political candidates support you. Support issues. Support the ending of the Fed or same-sex marriage or fair taxes or feeding the hungry. Quality medication that doesn't treat symptoms but actually cures diseases and doesn't create more diseases that you have to buy more medication. Support the issues and then you will find that politicians will arise that support you. Supporting politicians is backwards. They work for us, we don't work for them. If you want change, you have to be the change. But you must not force the change because forcing the change is what the establishment did. That's why they had a coup d'etat, if you will. They overthrew the system of life and replaced it with a system of death called debt. And so the more people buy into it, the worse it gets. You have to be the change you want to see. Live as though the new system is here. The new system is the oldest system in the world, life that which supports all things. Nothing exists without life. Clean air, healthy food, clean water, um, adequate shelter. This is what supports life and this is what life supports. Anything that goes around supporting anything other than life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness is not there for your benefit. It is not there for the benefit of all equally. If you want to end the programming of the establishment, you have to end the programming yourself. They aren't going to do it for you, and they're certainly not going to help you do it to them. They're going to do everything they can to make sure you stay programmed, even if it means offering some form of compromise or some form of change or some form of reform, some plan of action. Buying into that is only going to keep the control with them. You will always be continuously reacting to them and never actually accomplishing anything except the continuation of the system you wanted to change in the first place. Allowing the people to stay in power that allowed this to happen, calling for them to make the change, is only going to cause more protests down the line. The idea of doing anything is to end the action itself. So protesting the object of protests is actually to end protests so that you no longer have to protest. So protesting to the people 
and corporations and banks and financiers that are causing you to start protesting in the first place is only you continuing their system. If you want a new system, live that new system. Care for your neighbor. Hospitality is the cure for what ails the world. The more you affect that which you are, the more affection that which you are has. Don't sell out. Don't buy into anything. That's all part of the system that is unsustainable. Give. Give of what you are, who you are, the individual, the strength of the group, and there will be no end to what you can give. There will be no end to what you can do. There will be no end to what you support. Live life equally. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Anyone who comes to you speaking against life, liberty, or the pursuit of happiness in any form doesn't care what you want, doesn't care what you have to say. And the more you inform people of what life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness actually is, and how to live life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, the more invulnerable they become to those who wish to take away your life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. If you want change, be the change.